when Danny called you the first time and you answered the phone and he wants you to be the next head coach of the Celtics, what was your first reaction? Well, first of all, the Boston Celtics, like, Wow, I mean that's that's that 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 is a that is a an incredible feeling. Um, uh, it, it's an incredible honor, and, and it's certainly flattering. So I didn't have to do a lot of research when Tuesday night's transaction came down. I did not do a background check. I did not do you know call and check about you know from all the different coaches around college basketball. I had been doing that for a long time. Together, they flew to Indianapolis on Wednesday morning. They did. Uh, first question from a Butler grad. You tested me, huh? <laughs> um, no, it's, they, they flew there Wednesday morning, and we met um, Wick, Steve, Danny, uh, Mike Zarin, um, Tracy, and I. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's just such an awesome opportunity. And the, the, other, the other part of that is, is, is how excited we are to move here and how excited we are to, um, to, to start, um, you know, start our, our new life in Boston. And, um, it's hard because home was Indy, and home has been Indy for me for the better part of my life. Um, but, um, you know, we're, we're not going to lose any of our passion for Indy or our passion for Butler. Brad, how much, as Danny said, how much did that six-year contract play into your decision to leave a comfortable 10-year deal at Butler? Sure. I mean, that, that huge, right? I mean, I think at the end of the day that that, that is a, that, that is a as, I, as much as I took a leap of faith, so did they, and, and I greatly appreciated that, and, and that spoke absolute volumes. So, um, but that being said, Andy, I think you can also see through terms of contract at times. Um, but when you're with and around, you know, the people that that sat around that table and that I spoke with and that I looked in the eye, and you see their their true passion again, not just for getting there, but also how to get there. In the building process to get there, and that's what has always driven me. I'm a kind of a day-by-day -day process guy. 